there is a Christian pastor warning of a Jew coup to remove Donald Trump. And I must tell you, I'm surprised it took this long to become a storyline. And I'll explain that in a second. So I know that very often when we talk about anti-Semitism on the show, we end up kind of taking heat from the left and the right. The right will often just respond to stories about anti-Semitism with anti-Semitism often directed at me, proving my point. Sadly, there are some on the left who, when I talk about anti-Semitism, will minimize it. They'll say, you know, Jews aren't really discriminated against. Sometimes they even fall into the same thinly veiled anti-Semitic tropes that exist across the political spectrum. But I have to talk about it because this is a real problem that we have on our hands. Europe is increasingly riddled with anti-Semitism. Horrible situation recently on a London subway. You can look that up if you're curious. Lots of stories to tell. Not for today, though. Trump, even though his daughter Ivanka converted to Judaism and his son in law, Jared Kushner, is Jewish, Trump has still hugely coalesced and catalyzed white nationalism and anti Semitism. They've said it to me. I've spoken to people like Richard Spencer who explain it to me. The latest report from the Anti Defamation League about anti Semitism is horrible. We even saw Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee, including their uh, uh, lead counsel, Steve Castor, play off of the anti Semitic trope of dual loyalty to try to discredit impeachment witness Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman. His family are Jewish immigrants from Europe. And during the impeachment inquiry hearings in, in November, Republicans tried to play up this anti Semitic trope of dual loyalty. And it was quite frankly inevitable that eventually there would be a faction that turns the entire movement to hold Trump accountable for the things he has done into an anti Semitic trope or conspiracy theory. And now we are seeing the idea of that movement, uh, the entire movement to get rid of Trump, to hold him accountable, to impeach him. It is now being chalked up as a Jewish conspiracy by more and more people. And again, I'm shocked it took this long because when you step back from it, there are just too many overlaps between the ways that the right has defended Trump and common anti Semitic tropes. The deep state cabal of people working to control the public facing instruments of power like the presidency, they think that's what impeachment is. And they often say that that's what Jews do. There's a lot of overlap there. There are too many Jews involved in the impeachment hearings. Adam Schiff is Jewish. That Democratic counsel, Daniel Goldman, is Jewish. It's the Jews once again. So it was obvious that it was only a matter of time until this happened. And now our old buddy, I'm not being serious about that. Christian pastor Rick Wiles, a truly sick individual, is saying that impeachment is an attempted Jew coup. I can't possibly say it like he says it. So take a listen. That's the way the Jews work. They're de they are deceivers. <laughs> they plot. They lie. They do whatever they have to do to accomplish their political agenda. This impeached Trump movement is a Jew coup. And the American people better wake up to it really fast because this thing is moving now towards a vote in the House and then a trial in the Senate. We could have a trial by before Christmas. This country could be in civil war at Christmas time. That's right. A Jew coup. There it is. And you know, the thing is, there has been whacked out anti Semitic Christian pastors for a long time. That's not newsworthy in and of itself. What's different today is that they are more emboldened than ever by Donald Trump. And not only is there a risk of real world violence, they are pushing it. Here's Rick Wiles moments later starting to talk about, you know, the military members of the military are going to have to pick a side here, either with the Jew coup or against the Jew coup. Members of the U.S. military are going to have to take a stand, just like they did in the 1860s with the Civil War. They're going to have to decide, are you fighting for the North or the South? Members of the government are going to have to take a side. Instead of North, South, it's going to be left or right. People are going to be forced, possibly by this Christmas, to take a stand because of this Jew coup in the United States. We have weeks to stop it. That's why I'm speaking out. That's why I'm putting everything on the line, saying this is a coup led by Jews. 
to overthrow the constitutionally elected president of the United States. And it's beyond removing Donald Trump. It's removing you and me. Wow. Really courageous. A wacky evangelical Christian pastor blames the Jews for something. We've never seen that before. Really, I admire his courage in taking a stand on that. So we're seeing a very disturbing combination here of right wing nationalism, anti-Semitism and Christian nationalism. And what's worst about all of this is that we want to be careful not to participate in the escalation of violence. We don't want any violence. We want Trump removed by people voting him out or if a constitutionally uh, uh, enshrined impeachment process removes Trump, then OK, we don't want violence. They are both the people saying there might be violence and the people who would do it and the people who are starting to allude to physical violence to resist any kind of outcome that leads to Donald Trump being out of the White House. So we then ended up in a position where I find it necessary to remember we shouldn't be violent like them. We can't be violent like them. They do, by the way, though, these evangelical, I hate to even call them churches, so-called churches, they need to lose their tax exempt status. This is political advocacy, which violates the tenets of uh, uh, those non non uh, profit statuses that are given to these evangelical groups and churches. They need to stop spreading racism. They need to stop spreading nationalism and anti Semitism. But by predicting violence, they are also likely to cause violence because fundamentally it's what they want. It's a sick reality that we're dealing with right now. But again, I'm surprised it took this long for the anti Semitism to overlap with the movement to hold Trump accountable. It's happening now. We are seeing it. We will have more coverage of this on the show's Instagram page. Make sure you're following us there at David Pakman show. And while you're there, follow me on uh, Instagram as well at David dot Pakman. Today's program brought to you in part by Blinkist dot com slash Pakman. Blinkist is a great service that I use all the time. What they do is they take thousands of the most popular nonfiction books, including the newest bestsellers. They condense them into 15 minute audiobooks that you can listen to and you still get the most crucial information and insights from each book. And I've listened to a ton of books on Blinkist. I recently checked out Soccernomics by Simon Cooper. We do have, after all, the World Cup going on recently. We also have been talking about BS Jobs and there is a great new book, BS Jobs by David Graeber which I listen to on Blinkist. They're constantly adding new books to the platform. You will never run out of fascinating and critically acclaimed books to enjoy. And our audience can get a seven day free trial by going to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm putting a link in the video description. And after the free trial, if you like it, you can continue enjoying thousands of condensed audiobooks for about five bucks a month. That's B L I N K I S T dot com forward slash P A K M A N.